Okay. Hold left and release. Once you choose the enemy, you're going to attack Mario. Tilt and hold left. Release. Release the control stick as soon as the star lights up. Another rousing action command success. How did that feel, Mario? Got a pretty good grasp on action commands now? Excellent. Now for a real treat. I'll teach you a really incredible technique. Goomba, Goombella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Now this is the best one. Freeze right there, Mario. This time press B just before the enemy attack lands. Youch! See, you turn the foe's attack back on him. I mean, her. That's a super guard. If you do a super guard with B, you take no damage and damage your enemy in return. But super guards are harder to do than standard guards. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes Action Commands 101. <laughs> Sorry, professional. Professional. How did that go over? Would you like to practice your Action Commands a bit more? No. I expect nothing less, Mario. You're a real quick learner. You are. You're already a pro, I'm sure. Well, I do believe now we're all set for our quest. Hmm. So down below we go. Hop up, down, hop up onto the pipe. It tilts control down to enter the pipe. I didn't mean to talk to you. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Yeah, the super guards can be very useful, but can be really hard. You gotta do them when they just attack you. Oh, look at this place. Alright, we'll save our game here. It's always nice to try to fight enemies. You don't really want to try to run away from them. What's over here first? Now, who are you? That's the fortune teller. Marlou, she's kind of mysterious as you expect. Locations of things are where we should go. People say she's always right. And they say she's really cute under that veil. I hear some people even fall for her. Uh, aha, uh -huh. welcome, Mario. I am more lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seen with my amazing abilities, that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha, uh -huh. so shall I see something for you? I think you gotta pay for it, you know. Yeah, uh, no, aha, uh -huh. is that so? Well. If there is ever anything you want to find, just that. So basically, you know, if you get lost, you go to her. You don't know where to go. She'll tell you sometimes. Oh, hello. Secret star piece here. That's awesome. But you can't go to that guy. All right, let's uh, let's move on, shall we? Hey, hey, man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. I love her accent. I love her attitude. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody seems us like that. Nobody! Let's get them, boys. Uh-oh. Alright, we got a battle. I can't flee. That's... Oh, shoot. Alright, well. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that, and you're the one who will take damage. The Paracool must airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change order you to attack him. You can attack first if you feel like a Goombella. Don't forget that. Okay. So here we are, in the battle screen, and the seats are empty. <laughs> I guess 
Okay, well, I guess we'll do a standard jump. There we go. Alright. And Goombella. Well, we could do this. View enemies' descriptions and see their HP in battle. I don't remember what you have to do here. I think it's like a button. Maybe. Line up the small cursor with the center of the big cursor. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky headed Goomba? What a creative name. That spike is super funny, so it's better to hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP 2, attack is 2. Oh yeah, the best part of doing the towel, you'll see their HP now. It'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I forgot that one. Alright, alright. Let's hammer this guy. And he's down. I'll tell the Goomba. The Paragoomba. That's a Paragoomba, basically. Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. I'm gonna try to do some perfect guards, but it's really gonna be hard. There we go. Well, I guess the only thing we do is jump on it. I will never get the item if you destroy these guys. No, you don't get the item. Never mind. That sucks. All right. Ow, wee! Yeah, you better run. <laughs> Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll hell have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform our first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Getting kind of nervous here. I'll do a quick save. I'll try not to save as much. I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> I think I'm at HP 8. I do have a bunch of stuff. Now wait a minute. Ain't there some over here? Or do I have to go over here? Oh boy. So I can strike first! Oh, it's just a Goomba. Oh, I gotta do this. There we go. Woo! Sometimes they drop items, too. Oh, there we go. Help. Now, you don't want them to attack you first, because if they do, that's gonna suck. I have just gonna be one enemy. Nice. I feel like I gotta explore this later, I guess. I think I'm supposed to go down here. Oh, what's here? Alright, mushroom. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's just ahead of me every time. Uh oh. Now you gotta be careful here because sometimes the, the background and everything can fall, which is a pretty awesome thing. Like, there, there could be some crazy stuff that happens, not just for the enemies, but, um, you know, the terrain and stuff. We'll get to that later when uh, we advance to this game. We have here. Here we go. Oh, hi. Oh, man, I don't know if I'm ready to face those guys. All right, I'm going to do it. Why not? Got more health. I could use a fire fire. I don't want to waste it right now. Get some information on these guys. It's always nice to fight. That way, you know, you could uh, get more um, experience points. Spinia. That's a 
Atospinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, pretty paperly boards. It looks unique, but nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee -yah! Oh, I tried to do the super guard, didn't come out. Oh well. Let's just give it a hammer. Alright. Goombella. There we go. Mario's low on health a bit. Oh, hi. Oh, no! Okay, good. Glad I can uh, do that. Uh, okay, so as you see, now I can see the HP. Which is pretty awesome. There we go, full health. What does this do? Oh my gosh! It created steps! I think I'm going the right way, I don't know. <laughs> I can't do that yet. Oh, shoot. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. Hmm. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Oh my gosh. Well, this rat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this box. Then use it to let me out, definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. We saw that before. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Hmm. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is, box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Oh, if only some great cool selfish hero of legend would bring the key here. Yeah, the key that looks like this. I'd like to have one inside. Alright, I guess we're... Wait a minute. If I'm correct. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Well, there is a... Oh, wait! That's right. Trying to like key, but what could it be for? I had it self spawn. Oh, I found it. Just like that. I love this game so much. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You... Brought the key, yes. Oh man, are you big? Ah, forget it. Oh, come on, don't taunt me. Hurry up and open it. All right. Fine. Yes. Thank. <laughs> Thank nothing. We fools. Uh, well, game over. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you away. You think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly woogly woo, you're cursed! <laughs>
<laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee! Traveling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee! <laughs> oh, I can't help but journal. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then BAM, you're a paper airplane. Uh-oh, what a curse. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you're good at it, you might fly a long way. But that's the only good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? I zoned out. What was that? <laughs> yes, it's so frightening. You lost control of your brain. Listen once more, crybaby. Okay, okay, I, I had to do that, because I love the extra text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I get it, it's terrible. <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> Fools! So, uh, wow, just, wow, what was that guy's beef? Oh gosh, we're cursed. Great. That sucks. So now we have the ability to turn into a paper airplane. <gasps> oh my gosh. That wasn't much of a curse. Here it is. Here it is. The last level of the game. <laughs> Oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that! It's the thousand-year door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true. There it is. Big as life. Come, let's move closer. Any uh, secrets? Try to look around here. Maybe look around these pillars. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a fun game here. You never know what we can find behind these pillars. Oh, I'm definitely saving the game. Hold up. I'm going to save the game. There we go. Oh. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Oh, let's step on it. Oh no! Uh oh. Professor, what's going on? Oh my! Oh, look at that. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Huh. So that's where the first crystal star is. Whoa! The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Hmm. That's sir, the map. And what is with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shiny light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good news, they warp us back. Hmm. Ah, 
I see. You understand it, Professor. My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Yeah, we'll try it out. Excellent. In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. Alright, a special move. Oh, look, we got fans. Mario's, Mario's getting popular. <laughs> First, take a look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obvious, obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power with me so far. When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Alright, let's do it. Repeatedly till left to shoot hearts and flowers. I have to hold the control here. Yeah! All right, here we go. See, we don't have to hit these uh, poison mushrooms. No, if you hit these poison mushrooms, they'll stun you. This is best to like try to get some FP and all that. Look at that, nice. Good job. If you use one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battle is so very important. It's the best part of the game, too. Yeah! If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Goombella, try to attack me, please. Okay. Oh, I can't tattle him? My crowd loves it. Nice. See that? You thrilled your audience. So they filled up some of your gauge. Hmm. Okay, Mario. Let's do the hammer. Oh, now more, now more people are watching it. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch your fight. I love it so much. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in the audience. 16 people. Let's keep going. Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. Oh, here we go, the slots. Nail an action command when you have two magic icons and icon wheels appear. Give it a try. I'm not good at that, but I think it's automatic. Yeah, it's automatic. Now you gotta be careful, if you do the lightning bolts, they will take half your health. Oh, look at the fans! Look at that, baby! That can be helpful if you're in dire trouble. Fantastic, you match three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match up, your HP, FP, or star power will go up. But if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. Yeah. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorized all of this. Great Goomba's Ghost Mario, look at your audience! Oh my gosh, what is that guy? Does that guy have a hammer? He does, the bum! He means to toss it at you, is the best part of us. Also, if you audience members hit you with anything, you'll, you'll take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. Interference. <laughs> I love that so much! That's right, sweet justice! You can press X to protect yourself from the audience the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff like coins and health items. Don't attack them. Well, that's all I got. Here ends my scintillating lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. That was awesome. Let's go. Let's have a look at that magical magnet. 
the map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Outstanding! This map has raider-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rougeport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you get there instantly. Pipe travel sufficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? Hmm. Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she's trying to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's seven. Off the Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Okay. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious game. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Okay, here we go. Wait just a moment. What now? Ooh! Power Smash. Never a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to practice practice equipping and removing badges? Yeah, why not? In that case, first press Start Pause to access your menu screen. Equipping and removing badges. Let me explain to you how to equip and remove badges. Use this to select badges. There they are. Press A to access. Press again. Press A again. And there you go. To remove it. Move badge, you regain the badge point. There's stuff like badge points. Okay. Now we know. We need flower points to use this power special. Battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to pedal metals. I think I have to pay that guy. Ah, crap. Alright, well, that is pretty cool. Well, first of all, I'm going to go to the badges. And we're going to equip it. So you got badge points as well. You, have to wear you can also get some by leveling up. I don't know if I'm strong enough to take out that guy. Maybe if I level up one time. Ah, uh, okay, well, we're going to... I guess go down here. Maybe fight some battles. Let's save here, shall we? One part. Oh, we can actually do this now. Here we go. Let's go! Oh, you know what? I do want to fight these guys. I messed that up. I do want to fight these guys. Okay. Let's test it out. Oh, I don't know what that is. So we only got two fans. That's not good. I don't know if I want to test it out right now. There we go. Unfortunately, Goombella. This is another cool thing you can do. You can also appeal. Try to win over the crowd. Means you gotta do a little taunt here, and then you know I get star power. 
Unfortunately, I don't have that many fans, so we gotta defend. Nice. That was a good, smart deal. Alright, time to finish this guy off. It's always best to try to level up here. get some extra coins. I'm gonna try to get all the battles here, because I don't want to run away from the battles. I want to try to level up as much as possible. Alright, let's see over here. Oh boy. Oh wait, I can't do that. I don't know if I should do that. Things kind of soggy. I don't know if I want to do this, actually. I'm just going to activate a boss battle, too. Actually, I think I have to do this. Uh, hmm. It seems to be almost inviting us to do something, doesn't it? But what? You jump on it, but you totally ruin your shoes. So I just hammer it. Well, I, I jumped on it. I'm sorry. Hello? Oh, my gosh. Well, here's our first boss battle. Blue, 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 blue. Translation. You just, well, you just stop and whack someone's tootsies like that. Blue, 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 blue. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Blue, 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 blue. Would you look at that? He's some saucy mustache guy. Blue, 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 blue. He's in a world of hurt. Oh boy. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Here we go. Okay, well, I guess we can use this power smash. I'm actually getting nervous here. Oh boy. Well, we do have Sweet Treat. I can always use that. Alright, here we go. That hurt. Let's tattle Blooper, how much health he has. Oh! See, that's a stylish move. I, I didn't mean to do that, but it really helps. I'll use it later. I'll explain it to you when uh, it's really good. That's a blooper and really super humongous one too. Ew, it's so slimy. Just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G R O S S gross. HP is 12. Attack is 1. Okay. Attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down. And it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and house on that slimy, nasty blooper. Blooper. Hey, mustache. You're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it. Hey, you want a snack on these tentacles, don't you? <laughs> nah, I'd rather bloop, dude. <laughs> You're darn bloop, but nah, I'd rather bloop. Ouch. A little trash talk in there, too. I love that. That was so good. You're so funny. Fans here. Time to fall. Oh no. Oh, now you're screwed, son. Let's hammer this bloop. Now you're blooped. What? What the hell? What is going on there? Oh! Oh, he made him dizzy! Oh, jeez! Oh, crap. Sometimes the fans could just, just be involved in this and just change the outcome of the match. Oh, I'm not gonna get him. Alright, that's fine. It's so hard to dodge attacks. Alright, let's finish off with a jump. Goodbye. Alright. 
Boom. And there we go. Platforms. Now if I fall, I'll take damage. My partner's gonna be okay, though. This must be where, uh... Oh, yeah. Pedal Meadows! Chapter 1 Castle and Dragon Metal metals, all right. Let's check this. Well, here we are, the pedal metals where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Let's see. All right, let's go. What in the world was that? Oh my gosh. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a, wow, Mario, look. Holy crud, look at that dragon. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started, and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. Ah, the pedal goes up there, too, surrounded by hills far to the east of Rouge Fort. It's my own planet here. All year round, I love it. Doesn't it feel nice? Oh, hey, Mario, if you hit a tree, sometimes... Something good falls out. See, there's a hit right there. I feel it, but I mean it. If you see a tree, smack it. Man, this music is so freaking awesome. So nostalgic. Oh my gosh, man. I'm glad I'm getting so many mushrooms. Let's smack the tree. Yeah, there's something there. Alright, let's see what we got. Nothing. Ooh, what's this? A close call when Marl's in danger cause enemies to sometimes miss. That's a good badge. Unfortunately, I cannot do that badge because I don't... Oh, actually, yeah, I can actually. Nice. Hi, how's it going? Hey, Luigi's in the crowd. Look at that. <laughs> Freaking Luigi. Uh, nothing? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, well, at least he didn't attack me. Alright, time to get down. That was easy. Man, the fans are just not excited about this. There we go. We're almost up, bro. We're about to level up here pretty soon. How's it going? Keep it, keep it coming. Bring them all on. Oh, we don't want that to happen. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Sometimes enemies can bring items. That item there would have been bad. He would have used that, we'd be sleeping for a couple of turns. Good news is I destroyed him, so you don't have to worry about it. There we go. I almost got all my 100 coins back. Let's see what's in here. 
Oh, that's a good badge to get. Unfortunately, I can't get it. I, and Mario can't jump that well. Paper Mario, that is. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my tower ability, okay? I may be able to look up some useful info that will help us on our adventure. We're running through here until it makes the air crisp and refreshing. Hey, and by the way, Mario, have you tried checking the grass around here? Sometimes those clumps of grass hide good stuff, so always check them with A. Oh, jeez, I spin the wrong way. Oh, we got four of them now. I need- I still need a towel of freaking Goomba. Oh, I, I can't change, like... Huh. Alright, you know what? We're gonna towel this Goomba here. Yeah, it's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. Goombas are underlings of underlings. That is totally rude. HP is 2, attack power of 1, defense of 0. Could use a fire flower, but that would be a waste. Alright, we'll just, uh, we'll smash. There we go. Yes, I got it! Nice! It's so satisfying. Yes! See, when you do the perfect card, it's so satisfying when you do it. Very satisfying to do the perfect card. Because then, you know, you don't take damage from blocking, you just, you uh, receive it back. You return it back, I should say. Oh, I messed it up. Oh well. I'm gonna end you. Alright, we got some good old star points. Is that enough to level up? Oh, so close. Check the grass. Hmm. Well, hello there. I'm in the background. Ooh, what does this switch do? Oh, that's so awesome. A flip book. Man, this game is so cool. Hey! Who knows what it does? Take a chance to find out. Sometimes it could probably screw you. Oh, wait. Oh, I want that. Oh, I want that star piece. Um, I gotta get that star piece. I want those star pieces because it's very important. Alright. Actually, can I just... If I'm correct, I could just do this and they'll just bring me back. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, I gotta get back to the warp pipe. I thought that was gonna work out that way. I guess not. Alright, let's move on. I think this is the town. That's a more beautiful place. Definitely want to live there. Welcome, travelers. Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yippity, once... Yippity. Once that dragon hook tail was spotted flying around this area, well, it didn't help tourism. But it... Put it that way, people just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> so anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? 
We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Mm, nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really. Really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. Pink house? Well, it's totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Metal bird. It's nice and warm here. The air is so clean. It's such a peaceful family. It's a shop in it. Buy stuff and rest. One more thing. River's pretty. Fall in and nibbles will get you. Oh, so that pets nibbles. Alright, I'm gonna save the game and end it. And this part here.